and today I'm going to show you how to build these roof balcony windows that are quite cool and look really nice in real life they're quite expensive but I can show you how you can make it yourself in Sweet Home 3D okay let's uh, get started first we're going to need to just open a brand new Sweet Home 3D zoom in a bit there and create a wall and this slope is going to be two to one like that press escape get a normal window there it is fixed window bring that in rotate that slightly two to one is about 26 degrees uh, let's zoom into this down here and get a bit, a bit of a get a better angle on that. Now we have to imagine that that, that that wall is lying on the side. That will make sense towards the end of, of the tutorial. And I'm pretending now that I'm looking at the roof side on. If I look at the top view here, so that means the window goes almost to the floor and not quite so close to the roof to the top of the roof let's adjust the angle slightly that doesn't look so bad now I just uh, I make it position it in the middle a bit more proportional something like that that's good give you a bit of a look at that so you can see that for yourself that's going to be the bottom part of the window and that's going to be the top part of the window now select that hold down shift I think yep so now I've got both of those objects selected 3d view export to obj and I'm going to call it roof balcony window obj wave front export selection okay now we're going to blender uh, this bit's gonna take a little while this is more advanced than my lady than my other tutorial okay import obj let's go to that file i just created roof balcony window obj okay here it is inside blender going to deselect all box select object uh, behind my head transform origin to center of mass there it is okay five to put in or oh, put it in orthogonal orthogonal view okay so press seven so I can look at it from that angle go up press three I can move it down one and seven one and three to see how that looks that looks pretty good to me deselect go back to the opposite of orthogonal and uh, let's look at the window from side on it's roughly something like that okay yeah like that that looks pretty good now this window in the middle I'm gonna press down shift we can't really see that but I've got the the window frame and the glass both selected I'm just going to rotate that on the z-axis for a little bit that's uh, that's pretty good now I, I want it to be a little less long um, so I'm gonna size it across X a little bit yeah it's good 
move that up and slide that on press 7 5 uh, rotate Z I'm gonna make it more flat that's pretty good let's lift that up slightly bring it out see where it sits uh, I'm gonna make it sit around about like so that looks pretty good I think okay seven I'm gonna duplicate that by pressing shift D move it on the x-axis um, down that way I'm going to rotate it Z let's make it vertical size Y oh, there's a better way of doing that rotate Z size Y make it a bit smaller rotate Z let's just move it down to where it's going to sit look at that in uh, perspective I think my window could be slightly wide there size Y let's bring it there bring it there rotate Z straighten it up okay looking at it from different angles okay I think that's uh, gonna be good enough five for this next section I'm gonna put it in wireframe wireframe <laughs> um, okay I want shift a create a new cube and there it is size ooh, no uh, escape just size to make it slightly smaller okay now size X to make it long move the uh, mouse about like that move it back could be too long really size X bring it back bring it down there all right if I look at that uh, well it seems to be lined up pretty well but I'm just gonna line it up better there that's good enough I'm gonna duplicate that move it along the X I'm gonna rotate it on uh, Y no rotate on Z there it is and hold down control so it snaps size Y slide that down a little bit too much size Y slide that down a little bit that's pretty good duplicate move it along the X gonna put it about there size Y slide it up a little size Y slide it up a little okay duplicate move it along X about there size Y uh, slide it up a little not too much size Y there we go control shift D is duplicate on the X uh, about there it's got enough size Y that's SY slide it up a little bit duplicate move it along X um, size Y let's slide that up slowly that is the rail let's look at that from different angles okay let's go back to 7 
And what we do is we are going to duplicate that rail to the other side of the window. So to do that, I'm going to hold down Shift, hold down, uh, sorry, hold down Control, no, hold down Shift and right click each of these rail parts. That's good. I'm going to change to a different perspective. Shift D to duplicate and move it along the Z axis to the other side. Okay, that I can now go into solid view again and have a look what I've got here. Ooh. What I'm going to do is just change the color of some of these things as well quickly because we can do that in Blender. I'm going to select that, hold down sh shift, right click, select that, no, that frame there. And perhaps I'll select that as well. And those three objects, I will make them black going up here to the materials and changing this color here cool now file export obj roof balcony window obj and two i'm going to call it export Go back into uh, Sweet Home 3D, open the model that I want to work on. Right click in here, import furniture, choose model, roof, balcony window 2. Cool, we can see that. Continue. The perspective looks all wrong, so let me just. Nope. 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 I'll get it eventually. <laughs> there we go. Got it. That's the perspective I want to see when it's imported. Continue. Leave everything default. Finish. Okay. Let's drag that out onto the model there it is down there Let's rotate that around so where it's going to be and position that let's get the height correct it's about there I'm just going to move that slightly out and just move that slightly that way. That's better. Okay, that model selected. Control C, Control V to paste. Let's get that in the right spot. And I think we have it. with my little gap down there. They're the windows. They're the roof balcony windows that you too can have in your sweet home 3D models. Thanks for watching. Like, comment and subscribe.